Hi guys, it's Grace Pamela with Summerana.com and today I'm going to show you how to apply your images so that they look like they're inside a snow globe. So first I'm going to pull up a digital background um, from the Summerana site and I also have open an image from Jenny Ann Elliott Photography who was so kind to let me use her image to show you guys. Um, this is the image that I'm going to put inside the snow globe. So I am in Photoshop um, CC first I'm going to show you and then I'll also show you how to do it in Photoshop Elements. So if you use Elements be sure to watch at the end and I'll show you how to do it there. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag our client image onto the digital background with the snow globe. So here you're not going to be able to tell where exactly to put it. So what I like to do is over in the layers I like to bring the opacity of my client image down a bit. So that way I can kind of see exactly where I want to place it. Then I will go to Edit, Free Transform. I'm going to scale it down. Now I want him to be sitting on the base, so right down in here. So I'm going to pay attention to that. And I want as much of the image as possible as well. Okay, that looks about good. And then I can go ahead and bring the opacity back up to um, 100 or lower if you need to, depending on what you are comfortable with doing. So next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to click my layer again and add a layer mask. And here it's showing a white layer mask. Um, so then I can layer, uh, erase the background layer around the globe. So I'm going to grab a paintbrush and make sure it's black because black erases. And then I'm going to go ahead and erase some of it. I'm just going to do kind of a rough draft here around the edges here. And then we'll go in and fine tune it. Now the reason why we like to use the layer mask instead of just using the eraser tool is if we make a mistake we can go back in with a white paintbrush and we can paint it back on if we want to. If you want to make sure you got it all, you can hit the backslash key on your keyboard and then you can kind of see where you erased and didn't erase just to make sure you got it all. Okay, you can hit it again and that will disappear. Okay, now I am going to bring the base back from the bottom of the globe. I'm just going to bring my opacity down a bit. And I'm going to kind of paint it back on. So now you can kind of see the base um, of the snow globe. And all of this helps make it look more realistic. Now I want to make sure his leg is still intact. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that is on there okay. Alright, so now I'm going to grab a black paintbrush and I'm going to bring the opacity down more. And I'm going to make a bigger paintbrush and I'm just going to kind of go around the edges here so that way we don't have any harsh lines. Okay, now I'm going to bring the opacity down a bit more in a bigger brush and I'm going to make it more, a little more see-through so you can kind of see through the globe. Keeping in mind I'm not going over my subject because I want my subject to be um, very sharp. I don't want him to disappear as well. And again, if you're ever worried about um, erasing a little bit of your subject, you can always get a white paintbrush and paint them right back again, just in case. Okay, so now we have added our client on here. The next thing you want to do is maybe um, add a little contrast. So you can go to your levels and you can adjust the sliders. Now when you're adjusting the sliders it will apply to all of the image so if you only want it on your client um, you can go ahead and right click 
and select Create Clipping Mask. And then you can um, go ahead and edit it. You can kind of make it match the background a bit more. And then you can also add another one if you want to apply your effects to all of it to blend it in a little bit more. Totally up to you and what you want to do. I'm also going to add a color balance adjustment layer. And again, I'm going to right click, create clipping mask, and I'm going to make it a little bit cooler. But I'm actually going to brush that off of the client as I just want the background a little bit more cooler. Okay, so um, you can totally leave it like this if you want to. You can add more contrast. You can do um, whatever kind of editing that you want to do additionally to it. You can make it brighter. And you can also, um, if you want to add more to it, you can also add snow. So I'm going to go over to my actions, and I have my snow overlay action um, open. And this is from the winter play action and overlay collection. And I'm going to go ahead and apply a snow overlay, and I'm going to show you how we can do that. Um, but actually, I'm going to show you also you can add winter haze as well to the top. So right-click, create clipping mask. And you can either apply it to your whole globe image, or you can do Control-I to invert that. And use a white paintbrush. And sometimes it's nice to add it maybe to the top just to kind of add a little bit more like a reflective coating to it. And it'll also, it can also help like when you shake a globe, sometimes it's a lot like more white in there and snowy. It can also help with that as well. Okay, so I'm going to go to apply a snow overlay. I'm going to pick a snow overlay. I don't know if I want a busy one or a kind of light snow. And I'm going to adjust it so it fits over my globe. Select this check mark here. Press continue. Now to avoid it being out here, you can either erase it off or you can right click and create clipping mask. And now it's just in my globe because it's clipped down to our globe only image right here. So in case you're not aware, clipping down, um, it applies the effects down, 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 down to this layer. So if you turn off this layer right here, it turns off all of the effects with it. So if it's not clipped and you're wondering why it's on the background, it might be just because it's not clipped. Um, so anyways, so here's my snow and I'm going to erase some of it off of his face. You don't want to erase all of the snow off completely because then it won't look like it's very realistic. And so you can add more snow overlays, so there's multiple um, different kinds of snow. Otherwise, you can also duplicate it. Um, you can reverse it. You can turn it around. You can make some of it bigger, some of it smaller. Whatever you think is best, totally up to you, and every image will be a little different. Okay, so um, just an example. Now we have our snow globe, and that's how you apply it in Photoshop CC. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. Um, actually, so here is the before, before and after. And again, you can always come back in and adjust it. So like, for example, I kind of want to make the background a little bit more see-through. Now that I'm looking at it, the before and after. Okay, so here is my before and after. And you can come back in and adjust it however you like. Um, if, you save, if you save it as a PSD file. Um, so that's how you do it in Photoshop CC. And now I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop Elements. Okay, so we have the same images, just so I can quickly show you. I have both of them uploaded. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my image and I'm going to drag it over to this image. And again, we're going to lower the opacity right here so we can kind of see where it is on the globe. 
Now you want to make sure when you are dragging your image up and down like this that you are not distorting it like this because that will completely mess it up. So you want to make sure that you have your um, you're holding your shift key down if it's not already set that way so that way it doesn't um, make it all disproportionate like that. You can, there's also a check mark here on constrain proportions right there and in Photoshop uh, CC that is right here this link right here so you want to click that or hold the shift key on your keyboard and that works for that. Okay so that's one thing that I wanted to make sure you knew just just in case. <laughs> Okay, so I want to make sure he is, again, kind of sitting on the base. I am going to leave it just like that. And then I'm going to select the green check mark here. That looks good to me. And now I am going to add a layer mask, which is right here. There we go. And I'm going to select my paintbrush, which is right here. I'm going to make sure it's a soft paintbrush by going to my brush settings here and you can see the hardness and the opacity I'm going to leave at 100 for now just to kind of get it around the edges here and you can use a hard brush too technically if you wanted to just because we're going to blend it in anyways backslash on my keyboard just to make sure I get it all okay now I'm going to get the rest of the base I'm going to bring the opacity up to see how that looks. I am missing a little bit of his leg here, so I'm going to bring that back. And his sweater here. Okay, now I'm going to bring the opacity down a bit again. And go over the edges here. Oh. You want to make sure your paintbrush is black for erasing. Okay, and I'm going to bring the opacity down again and make my brush bigger. I'm going to bring some of the background back. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you like it more, um, your image showing more in the globe, that's totally fine too. Okay, and I'm going to go do the same thing. We have our image um, in the globe now, and you can also do the same things if you want to. Um, I'm going to go to Window Adjustment. And I'm going to go to Levels. And you can go ahead and adjust that as well. I'm going to right click, create clipping mask, so that way it's only adjusting to our globe image. Here we go. Okay, so I have added that. Now I want to go ahead and add my winter haze. I'm going to play the action. Right click, create clipping mask. And I'm going to hit Control I to invert that, and that way I can just put it wherever I want it. And 
and you can adjust the opacity of that as well. Okay, so now I'm going to add my snow. Press continue. And you, again, can either duplicate that, but you also want to add it as a clipping mask. So right click, create clipping mask, and you can duplicate that if you want to make it brighter, or you can add more snow uh, anywhere else. There's different overlays and all of that stuff. Um, so there we have it. We have our snow globe applied uh, in Photoshop Elements. Actually, there's one thing that I wanted to add is... Um, Let me go to Windows Adjustment. Photo filter. And I'm going to select a cooling filter. Control I. I'm just going to paint it on in my globe. Okay, so there we have it. We have our client in our snow globe. And it's before and after. So that's how you do it in Photoshop Elements. And then in the beginning of our video, we showed how to do it in Photoshop CC. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. And I'm always happy to help. My email is support at summerana.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I can't wait to see you guys' snow globe images. Okay, bye, guys.